all right so now let's write the function to log in the user from the login uh, page login component so i'll just do control p to search for my login component and open that up now this login component is actually very similar to the register component so i'm just going to save ourselves some time and just grab some basics from it so i'm going to be using the dispatch the navigate loading technically almost everything we have here so let me just grab this guy and then just have it inside of my login as well so here i'll just come down and then i'll just paste that in so of course we need to import all of this uh, but let's just finish grabbing everything we need then also we're going to need the initial states so grab the initial state as well and then i'll just come here sorry to my login and then i'll just slot that outside here paste that in so let's import all of these things that we need so i'll just do Control and space bar to auto import it. Import that from Redux. Import that from React Router DOM. Then import use state as well. Aha. Okay, so now we are working with only the email and the password when we want to log in. We don't need the name. So I'll just get rid of the name and the password too as well. Then also I'll destroy, I'll get rid of the password too and the name as well from here. Then also the name get rid of that okay so let's see if there's any other thing we can that can help us you know make our life a little bit easier so the handle input change well i think we can still use it so let me just grab the handle input change and then i'm just going to come here and we're going to use it also so slot that in aha so now i'll come inside my input field and then i'll just have the necessary things that i need so for the inputs uh it has a name of email let's give it a value or oh, so let's even uh, work with what we've done before so I'll just come here and come to my JSX so where does the input start right here so what I need is a value and the unchange property so I'll just copy that as well I'll come here and slot that in all I'm just doing is saving time it's not like I cannot type it out myself and oh this we're not working with the name we're working with the email so I'll change this to email sorry about that so email and that should point to email right here then the next is the password so the second input is the password which is yeah so right here so i'll just come down paste that in and then i'll change the value here to password and that should sort it out yeah so now the next thing we need to do is to add a submit on submit function so i'll just say on submit and that's just going to point to a function that i'm going to name um login i think so login is fine login aha so i'll copy this guy and then i'll just come outside here and just create that function it's going to be an arrow function by the way in fact it's going to be an asynchronous arrow function then i'll just you know paste that in so first things first let's prevent default so i'll just add an e parameter here and then i'm just going to say event dot prevent default and then just open that up so it's not going to reload the page after we submit well what i want to do is to make sure that i have access to the states that i've created so i'm just going to log in the form data form data just like we did before you know so let's go ahead and save this file and then i'm just going to come here go to my login page login and then i'll open my console uh, that's f12 and by the time we click on login we should be able to see the data in the console if we set up everything correctly so i'll click on login here aha so you see we get the data donor z and this is the password user one two three great so now we can go ahead and actually add the functionality to log in the user we're going to start by adding some validation so the validation is quite similar to what we've done before so <laughs> let's just save ourselves some time as well so for the validation first off we are going to grab this guy and make sure that the user does not enter in an empty field so i'll come to my login page and then get rid of this console.log and paste in that validation so we don't we're not working with name here so i'll just delete the name property oh sorry Control z so if the email is empty the password is empty then i want to toast this error all fields are required then um let me import toast as well oh so for some reason it's not auto importing 
so if, allow me to just grab it somewhere here because i don't want to have to so where is toast yeah so this is it from react to stify so i'll just grab this guy copy that and then we'll just come here and slot that in at the top so let's put this auger at the top and then i'll just come down and let's continue so we're checking for the email and the password next let's validate the email so i'll come here to register and then i'll just validate the email which is right here to validate the email and then let's come back here and then just slot that in come down paste that in okay now we need to import validate email as well so i'll import it and that's all okay now we create a um an object that will hold the user data so i think we already did that also here so this user data object uh, let's grab it as well copy that and then we're just going to slot that in here so let's get the user data and remember we're not having any name so user data is just going to contain the email and the password okay great so now we can come here and do what we need to do in fact we'll just set is loading so set is loading to true so before we initiate the process of logging in the user let's have the loading spinner so i'll set it loading to true then i'll do a try catch try catch aha so now in this try catch what i want to do essentially is i'll say const data that's going to be equal to await and then i'll just call the login user function which i created in the um, auth services folder so login user and i'm going to send it with the user data which is the email and the password let me make sure that i've imported this login user so i think it has auto imported let me just check it to be sure so login user oh no this is from the back end that's not where we want to import it from we want to import it from the services the auth services so i'll come here and try it again and yeah so services and that's where i want it right so when i log in the user what do i want to do well technically i want to do exactly the same thing that i do when i register the user so i'm going to come to my register user and let's see what we did so when we logged in the user what do we do we dispatch the set login action to set the login to true that will tell the whole of our application that the user is logged in then we set the name of the user and then we went to the dashboard page so we're just going to do exactly the same thing i'll just copy this guy and i'll come back to my login page and let's just come down here and paste that in mm -hmm. now it's telling us that we need to import this login so let's import it from yeah and then i'll import the set name as well and yeah then the else part well let's just do the same thing we did here for the else part i'll set this loading to false and then i'll just log the error to the console Technically, I don't need to log the error to the console. I can just get rid of even this log to the console and just set its loading to false. So copy that and I need to save this file now. And then just come here and paste that and save. Aha, so now we should be able to fire off the login functionality and have us log into the, um, web, into the dashboard. But just to be sure that I'm logged in correctly, I'm just going to come here and log this data to the console. So I'll say log and then I'll just put the data in the console so that we can see what was returned from the back end API. So, aha, so let's come here and let's open F12 and let's try to log in. Fingers crossed. I think we I think we use this password. Let me see the last password we saved for donaldz.ng just to be sure so it's zeno one two three four five that was the last password so sorry yeah zeno one two three four five okay so here i'm just going to come and change this to zeno one two three four five and then i'll just click on login let's see aha so you see let me close this guy okay maybe i should okay I'll just close this guy and you see it has brought us to the dashboard page but if you look in the console you will also see that we now have the information about that user from the database including the token right so now let me also show you how you can know that this user is indeed logged in so i think you can come here and go to applications and in applications let me expand this guy you will come to cookies and then just click on local hosts that's your url if you click on that you'll see here that we have this one is from another website but if you click here you see that we now have 
our own token so token and then this is the token that was returned so that's another way to just show you that we were actually we actually got the cookie that was sent from the back end so that's about it for how to create the login functionality in our application all right so but before we head off to the next um, thing to do we just want to add something here to our login and that is to just display a loader when we try to log in so i would come here and just have my curly braces and then i'll just say look if is loading is equal to true then i want to display the loader and then i'll just auto import that as well and close this up so that's about it so let me go ahead and save this file and yeah so technically we are done with the login functionality in the next one we're going to proceed